Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Incubinark40, and today we're back with a no video on my channel. Did not mean to sound like that, my voice just kind of went out and I didn't know what to do, so I carried on the intro. But today I'm going to be doing a video that is long overdue, and it is how to install and operate OBS. Now, all these settings are going to be different for different people, but this is what I use, this is how you install it, this is how you get everything going, and... Yeah, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the obsproject.com website and depending on what you have, if you have Windows 7, 8, or 10, you can download here. If you have the OS X 10.8 Plus or Linux, you can download all of them here, but you have to have these versions in order to download it. Then after you download that, the program will install and I know, Inception right now. And you'll have these, like, see, here's my scenes, Hazard Gaming, Scene 2, Minecraft, and all that. And then there it shows your mics and stuff. But, for right now, I'm not going to be worrying about this. I'm going to be go showing you guys my settings. So, yes, now you can hopefully see this and not, I mean, you will see the edges of it. I can't make this any bigger. But, <clears throat> basically, hold on. Basically, what you're going to do is, whatever language you speak, if you speak English, or like they have a bunch of, uh, they have um, Espanol, Spanish, Portuguese, any type of language you, um, though I should suppose you cheer training language because you can't understand this. Um, then um, it'll just ask you different things, like this is all I do. So... Now, if you have a PC, if you have a desktop PC like I do, um, yes, the apply changes. Um, I use um, a AMD Raiden, or I use CyberPower PC, and I have an AMD Raiden set it, um, Raiden Raiden series um, video processor, and I use that. But um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to uncheck this little box right here, and depending on what you have for your encoder, you may have a Nevada. Nevada not Navita, N-V-E-N-C, I don't have one, so I use the encoder that it provides me with, and for different um, different computers, like say you have a um, laptop, the quality balance is going to be different, the max bit rate is going to be different for you guys, but um, you're going to want to change the max bit rate because... Oh... No wonder my videos have been kind of off lately. I was setting that at 100,000 frames and not 10,000 frames. So you want to set it at, what I recommend is 10,000, and use custom buffer size and make that too. And um, if you, for your audio encoding, I would use bitrate 192. That's one of the best qualities I've found without it being too loud, too soft, too staticky, too non-staticky. And yeah, so let's go ahead and apply those changes. Now... Broadcast settings, if you're a live streamer, you can set all this up, but right now, I don't live stream. I mean, if you guys want me to, I will. I may start live streaming once I hit like 100 subs. But as of right now, I don't live stream, so I don't worry about this tab. Now, for your, yes, for your video, this, the custom base resolution, depends on what kind of monitor you have. It all, it's not going to always be 920 at a 1080p. It's never, or 1080. It's never going to be this, or it can be the same for different computers, but it's not going to be the same for me and you, unless you have the exact monitor I have. But you're going to set it to your custom resolution right here, which is mine is 1920 and 1080. And I leave it at the base resolution. But for you guys, see who need a little resolution downscale, um, you can just choose any one of these. Um, and it'll help you just learn your computer's capacity. And you always want to look for the best one resolution down, the one that reduces the resolution to where you can get good quality videos at no lag, no freezing, or anything. So. Um, see, I have that now at 720, but I'm not going to leave it there. The only reason I'm changing it is. What I find works, you have to change your resolution down to anything besides the original. You're going to come down here to your filter, and you're going to use this one. Lenkos, best detail, 36 samples. Some people's may not be the same. Some people you may have to use by cubic sharpener, and you may have to use by linear. But for me, it works with this. So I'm going to change it to this, and I'm going to go back to my original resolution. And I run it at 60 frames per second. A lot of people can run it at 30, 100, or anything on that ma matter. So let's go ahead and hit apply there. Now your audio. 
audio, I use my Blue Yeti. You guys have obviously seen it. And I use my speakers to actually, for people to be heard. And then I don't do anything here and I show connected devices. I don't do anything there. Okay, so apply changes, yes. Hotkeys, the only hotkeys that I have is to start recording and to stop recording. And that's backspace and control. I'm not gonna hit it now because it'll stop the video. So those are the keys I use. Now, for advanced, this one is a bit tricky. These are all set up for you, but th and this is all set up for you. Very fast and high. Those are always those are always set up for you. And this I don't actually mess with. But for good quality videos, I figured out that you have to click this and you have to use CFR. You make sure it has a check mark next to it and custom 264 encoder settings. Make sure that has a check mark by it. And whenever you get there, you always want to type in this. It's C R F equals 18 that's the best i've found out custom frame um i think i don't okay it's i had slipping my mind about what it is right now and you also want to have it in code in full range or else the video is just all jacked up and crazy like that so you're going to want to do that and that's about it for advanced and let's go and apply quick sync encoder i don't use this you guys can mess around with it microphone noise gate i don't really mess with it either and scene switcher i don't really do that either so that's about my that's about how i use obs um so and then if you want okay guys i'm about to make you guys maybe a little trip out so just be bear with me if you guys want this is how you stop recording start streaming and the preview stream is just to show what your video is going to look like to the other people voice crack right there and you can add scenes you can add different things like you can add window capture monitor capture you can add a camera but anything but yeah guys so that's going to be it for this um episode or this um tutorial no bs if you guys found it enjoyable and helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below saying hey this helped me and i really thank you for it because now i can record my own pc gameplay so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video peace